photo of uh, the, probably the most confrontational point to begin with, uh, where everything kicked off at. Uh, there were some shots fired from underneath this bridge to a uh, Washington State game officer, or two game officers who were attempting to take a net out of the water. And that set off the whole incident of um, tear gassing and uh, people being put, in, put under arrest and chased, chased about by, by Tacoma police officers. And uh, I don't know if people really notice this, but there are Tacoma police officers who were designated sharpshooters, as I was told. Uh, we noticed them there, we knew they were there, and we were all concerned about being shot at some point or other. So it was a concern to myself here in the picture. Uh, when things started to happen, I became confused and highly anxious to, to pretty much get away from it all. The tear gas was uh, a, a bit much to take, and getting up from underneath the bridge to in this area confronted a Tacoma police officer, fired a, a tear gas uh, canister at myself, hitting me in the belly. The canister landed on the ground. Um, I, I thought I'd been shot with a shotgun and that I was going to be dead. Uh, in the confusion, I attempted to move away from that area. Was grabbed a hold of by a Tacoma police officer who you see in this picture here. And he was a rather um, concerned officer. Lightly maced me in the face and then led me away. Come on, let's go this way. You need to, we need to get away from here. Uh, he was probably being, he was being tear gassed to just as much as everyone else in the immediate area. So, that's me, I was 17 years old. It was uh, quite a memorable event in my life and I never year realized until years later the significance of this incident in relation to the Bolt decision and uh, our treaty rights fishing throughout the whole Pacific Northwest. You know, it was, uh, uh, I'm proud and, honored to have been involved.